so now we will talk about entropy the entropy is represented by capital H the formula is H is equal to as you can see summation of I is equal to 1 to M PI log to the base 2 if you are talking about bits and into 1 by PI now this I represents if you have M messages then you should take the probability of all of them 1 to M that's it and this is how you read the formula and understand that okay and the unit is bits per symbol okay now this means uh, again from the unit you can understand that how many bits are present in one symbol this means if you are passing one symbol then how many bits are present in that example I can take uh, if I if I am writing this one in four bit format then it would be zero 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 if I am writing 16 in 4 bit format this would be 1115 so this means that if I am passing this 16 as a symbol I require 4 bits so 4 bits for one symbol this is the unit and this is how you have to understand so now let us talk about the property so property whenever you study the property you just have to play with the equation you got if I put my probability is equal to 1 in this equation what will I get this term is now log of 1 by 1 that is equal to 0 so this means that my entropy is zero similarly we have dead for the information theory like if my probability is very high my information is very less okay so the first point is clear now comes the interesting point that is the second point take a special care where pk is given as 1 by k this means that it is equiprobable if all of the messages have the equal probability of occurrence of transmitting then what will be the case my entropy is equal to the maximum value and the value would be log to the base 2k now if you wonder how this value came let me take the derivation as well so the question was if I have m messages let's say m1 m2 m3 and uh, let's go on up till m messages with the probability p1 p2 and let's go up till pm correct if messages are equally probable that the probability of every message is same then the entropy is what correct uh, this this question is understandable and we are here to prove that the entropy maximum is equal to log to the base 2 m so let's start the first point uh, the probabilities are same so if you add all of the probability in the system then you will get it as 1 because probability range is always between 0 to 1 that is the maths and the probability basics okay so if you have this thing then you can say that the probability is same and we have m messages that are transmitted so m into p is equal to 1 if you rearrange this p is equal to 1 by m so once you put the probability in this equation and if you solve this correctly you will get the answer so after expansion of this equation you will get this term and as you can see it is going for the m times correct we are starting with this i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 and going up till m times so if you add the same terms over and over for m times you can say m is my number of times upon the m which came from here as you can see in the every equation we have 1 by m so it came from there log to the base 2 m and you can solve this this term has gone log to the base 2 m is remaining so h max is log to the base 2 m so this was the derivation this was the reason behind why the entropy maximum is equal to log to the base 2 into m where m represents the number of messages okay so let's go further now this is the variation and you can see the example three messages are transmitted m1 m2 and m3 and their probability are 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 respectively calculate the entropy a very simple question and you can solve this pause this video and think so if you got the solution it's cool if you don't let's follow the step first point what is given the message probabilities are given so m1 probability is half m2 probability is 1 by 4 m3 probability is 1 by 4 okay now we have to find the entropy so use the entropy formula h is equal to either you can write in two ways so i will take that down as well so the standard way we write is i is equal to 1 2 let's say here we can say 1 2 3 1 2 3 we have three messages so p i log to the base 2 and 1 by p i we generally consider the base 2 if nothing is mentioned then we can say the answer would be in bits per symbol okay uh, that that's the standard way we, we go if the base is not given 
okay so this is the one way to write the formula the another way is this uh, using the log property what was the log property if you have log of 1 by a it can be written as minus times of log of a correct this is the log property so we are using that and you can solve in this manner also no worries because sometimes you you get confused why this uh, formula is written in this fashion then you should know the logic and the reason behind that now you have to just substitute this is for i is equal to 1 and i have clubbed i is equal to 2 and i is equal to 3 because the values are same and once you solve that you will get the answer as 3 by 2 now this question is homework for you let's say my example is i have four messages m1 m2 m3 and m4 and their probabilities are instead of this i have half 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 and half respectively so you can say that what is the entropy you can calculate once you calculate comment the answer i will tell whether it is correct or not and the hint is it is equiprobable so equiprobable that example the derivation we have seen you have to use the same concept and you will get the answer no problem so me too in the comment section for this question now let's move forward to the last variation of entropy entropy for the extended source up till now you know how to find entropy for the x term now if you have x raised to n how will you find that, that is a problem correct so we have to use this formula h of x raised to n is equal to n times h of x so let's take example if i have my n is equal to 2 h of x is equal to 1.5 then what is my h of x square correct because you know the formula you can get the answer in seconds so the answer is h of x square is equal to 2 times of h of x that is 1.5 and the answer is 3 so 3 bits per symbol the unit remains same so unit is same so I hope you got the entropy concept and the variations and the derivation. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.